I don't think y'all understand the importance of what they done. They done went and got over $800 million for, you know, business owners that's doing anything that was employing people during the pandemic. My name is Lynette Smith, and I am the owner of Nuts About Popcorn. Treats, snacks, nuts, fudge, you name it, we have it. We make flavors like dark chocolate sea salt and uh, spicy buffalo and zebra and strawberry cheesecake. Stuff that you don't usually yeah. hear of in popcorn, yeah. we have the ability to make it. So. She does it all, man. I'm not just saying it's all way. She amazes me. I'm like, what's this? 130 flavors. She taste something. Oh, that's not good. Throw it away. Let's try it new. We were like, it's fine for us. <laughs> say no <laughs> one of my best years was actually the year of COVID because we switched and so many people were home we became the go-to snack place it was like everybody was home and they were you know yeah. chilling and, and binge watching TV shows and we were like yeah. we got snacks <laughs> <laughs> we actually did really well we got a lot of sponsorships we were on QVC we were sending stuff out by the boat though I mean it was it was it was insane it's not sustainable you know it's one of those things you constantly have to work for it we were impacted by COVID because we had to really close a lot earlier shorten our hours we moved to curbside pickup I had to shut one of my stores down we had two at the time we shut this the mall store down and switched my primary location to curbside pickup um, it was challenging trying to keep staff engaged while losing so many um, with this one store shutting down, but we worked our way through it. I love what I do and I wouldn't change it. Um, coming here tonight and listening to Omega helping us get our credit is going to be phenomenal. And uh, the process was easy peasy. I'm just so proud of you, daughter. Thank you. Sticking with it. And when she came out and started, we was like, uh, how are we going to do this? <laughs> I own a heat and air conditioner and plumbing company. The reason why I got in business, because every business I used to work for, I got discriminated against. So I said, listen, I'm gonna try my own. Came home one day and said, babe, I wanna do my own thing. She said, why not? I'll be one of those guys out there just doing the business. She said, no, you gonna do it, you gonna do it right. So she got me set up with all my EIN numbers, insurances, everything that I need to make sure I was on the book. The reason why I got my business is because I have my son as my employee. I did so many bumps and bruises working with different companies, being discriminated against. I didn't want him to go through the same thing I went through. I said, I'm going to get your head started. So I'm going to start my business so you can be part of my business and one day be the business. 31, 30, 32 years this year in November. Yeah. But 31 years together. And it's like, that's the game to my game. We complement each other really well, but we're both. Yeah driven and hard workers and supportive of one another and I think that's the, the secret sauce and we have our family like our kids are now entrepreneurs because of watching us. My name is Jalil, most know me by DJ J. So I run a media business, the Mike XM. Shout out to Gillian Wallow, shout out to Kamisha for all the information today. Hopefully I get a nice little tax credit for my business. I started media because I felt like, you know, black creatives needed a voice and I wanted to be basically like a mic to amplify the voice of those creatives, which is why it's called the mic accent, you know what I mean? The best advice I got from a business owner, honestly, would be to just not have expectation. Don't stand on expectation, just enjoy the journey. You know what I mean? Learn as much as you can and just always keep pushing and remain consistent. I'm Ivana Courtney. I'm a child care provider and child care consultant as well as a serve safe instructor and proctor. I started a child care business of course because I love children and I've worked with children as a teenager um, through my aunt's business, my grandmother. Uh, care for children as well, so I just love to see them caring for children, and I wanted to do the same. If anybody know, like that has stores, they cut your times down. Yes, so, so instead of like our Willow Grove used to open at nine, if I'm not mistaken, they started opening at eleven and closing at six. Yep, that's that effective. Yep, that's your business operations time. So if you had to cut down um, time doing your business operation time. Mm -hmm. That is a plus for you because you get money from, you know, that's, you were supposed to be open from 9 a.m., but you only open at 11, so okay. you do get um, credited for that as well. How many employees you got? <laughs> I had from between 9 and, I would say between 9 and 7, but I, I believe like three of them was like, they came, got a paycheck and slid, they got hot outside, they like, I'm not So you still had there. eight then? But I had, I had, I had more than five, yeah. Change oh, you went? He had signed up? Yeah, that's not that. Perfect.
You just wait for that ending. <laughs> you wait for that number, huh? So you can borrow something. Huh? But if you guys are ready to hear about some of these resources to level up your business, let me hear you say yeah. yeah. All right, all right. How did Omega Account Solutions get in the game? So Omega Accounting Solutions started about 16 years ago um, from our founder, Jay Woods. Um, he had a vision to make sure that the accounting firm that he started was not like your mom and pop's accounting firm, boring, anything like that. Um, so he started it out. I was employee number 59. We currently have 200 employees, and it's because of the ERC credit. All you really need is a one-page landing that you can lay a landing page, a business card, and walk around. You got a logo on you. you, you they got over 800 million back. So you you running with all that, all that. You standing in close proximity to a winning brand, and you can run around here and just refer people all day. And yeah, I'm telling you, run the bag up. I'm talking about how many businesses it is. If you just walk downtown in Philly, see how many businesses it is. And just walk into business, hey, how you doing? I'm such and such. I represent boom, 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 bang, bang. A lot of years. So just think about that. No, wait, hold on. So I can wake up every day and just go to businesses throughout the, the community, all through the city, and just be like, let me ask you a question. How many employees you got? <laughs> oh, I got eight employees. You ever, you never got that? Okay, uh, come on. Let me get you some money. Correct. Oh, we got to go put our suits on a slide around. I can go to anywhere, jewelry store, anywhere. anywhere. I'm trying to hustle, come on. I'm just saying, I know a lot of businesses with like come on, five or more employees. Like, now that I'm sitting here, we want to make sure they were affected by the pandemic, too. Yeah, they so. was open for a long time. Like, don't be knock about us. I had a little like, so, 50 to my account. So, have your family grow, and you see them grow, and you have your own business and everybody understand business, and we, we stick together. And that's been my goal. I mean, I'm, a, I'm the richest guy in the world. Mm -hmm. I, I'm the richest guy in the world, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't have to have a million dollars, but I'm the richest guy in the world to know my kids, understand business, and ready to do business. Not in the street. You don't have to give me a million dollars. I'm already good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, I'm happy. I'll take the million dollars, Alex. <laughs>